about to enter this fort. This is caution. Wonder why. It's nice weather out here today. Imagine you're stepping into the past, the year is 1864, and the Civil War is in progress. So for this vlog, I didn't make an intro, which, you know, is my fault, and... On the way there, there was a bad wreck. Um, hopefully they were all right. And the trip was about like five and a half hour drive down to Fernandina Beach. And I haven't been there before. I really wanted to go. And it's right near the state line between Georgia and Florida. And there, one of the main attractions is Fort Clinch, which um, is the main thing of the video today. And it's a really cool place, a really cool city. And there's a lot of great views. So I arrived in Florida about like mid-afternoon, went by the beach a little bit, and then I went to the state park. So before you enter the fort, there were some signs talking a little bit more about the history and how the fort came about, some of its founders. There's this sign here talking about marine debris. It's crazy how some of these things last so long. Um, it's unfortunate, you know, people litter. So before you enter the fort, there's a gift shop and a little bit of a museum area kind of talking more about the history of the fort, which I will share in this vlog. Imagine you're stepping into the past. The year is 1864 and the Civil War is in progress. All right. So those are real cannons. Yee! So we're now at the entrance and about to go across this little bridge here before you get inside. Wow, this is an amazing sight. This is really cool. So when you first enter and you take a right, you'll see the officer rooms and the guard rooms. I'll get more into the history of the fort in a few minutes. This building right here is the enlisted men's barracks, which is on the left. Some other buildings on display here, they had a bakery, a blacksmith's shop, there was a storehouse, carpenter shop. So now we're on the top of the floor, and this is where the real life cannons are. And these cannons are way bigger than I thought they'd be. This is really neat. You can see the ocean from here. This fort was active from 1847 to 1945. The fort was named after General Duncan Lamont Clinch. He was a hero in the Seminole War. He was also a congressman. Construction of Fort Clinch began in 1847 and a workforce was directed by officers of the U.S. Army Corps. And the progress took, it took them a good while actually to build this fort because it wasn't finished by the time the Civil War came. In 1862, it was evacuated for a little bit by General Robert E. Lee. The history of it next picks up in 1869 during the Spanish-American War. In 1898, when the United States was thrust back into war with Spain, Battery A of the 6th United States Artillery arrived at Fort Clinch and they raided it for war. And it's pretty low here. My head's actually about almost at the sea one. Low entrance. In 1926, the federal government sold the fort, and the state of Florida would end up buying it in 1935 and surround the property to preserve it and to basically provide outdoor recreational opportunities. Saw a lizard a minute ago. Wonder if there's any snakes. This fort is actually bigger than I thought. Like when you first walk like into it, it looks like kind of small, but once you get inside, it's much bigger than you think. In the Second World War, the U.S. Armed Forces pressed Force Clinch into service one more time, and with the Coast Guard and joint operation with the Army and Navy, they established a surveillance and communication system. They also used horses for beach control. In 1945, it was made a landmark and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. 
Here on the screen, I'm going to put up a map so y'all get more of an idea of where it is and what was beside it. One thing I forgot to add earlier, they also had a kitchen and laundry area. They also Well, man, I don't know why, but that tunnel's kind of creepy. Anyways, they also had a prison in here as well. Got stung by a horse fly, so that's not fun. So in this vlog, I did record a good bit, but also was trying to stay off of social media for that day and the next day just to kind of have some peace and just not being able to have to deal with some of the stress of This is really neat. It's really cool. And I was like, I gotta go to it. Uh, crazy thing is they actually let me in for free. <laughs> I was kind of surprised about that. Well, and there's the beach right outside here. It's really awesome. It's so windy. So I had to leave the fort a little early because they, they closed it up at like 5 o'clock during the week. So I couldn't stay there past then. So I was there for about like an hour and a half probably. Oh boy, there's alligators. So outside of Fort Clinch, there's a state park of course. There's Amelia Island and there's a couple nature trails that are really long. So I'm about to go hike on those. Now the trail I'm on is actually about like 3 miles and... This looks just like a rainforest, like, it's something you'd see in a movie, it's just so beautiful in the lands. Now I'm going to try not to talk while I'm walking through this forest because I don't want to disturb the wildlife and animals, you know what I'm saying? What is that? Well, whoever's in that bush is actually coming towards me. Oh my gosh, is that a monkey? So I noticed this animal kept following me, and I didn't know what it was, and I tried to zoom in on it, and couldn't really tell, but it looked like it had a tail, and I didn't know what it was. What is that? Is that a fox? Yo. It's a fox or a possum or something. You see that? What is that? Now I know this is going to sound kind of crazy, but you know, I was already so far down the trail. I was like really far back there and I was near a road so I was by myself so I was kind of creeped out at first because I didn't know how big it was I didn't know what it was and going back and look at the footage it looks like a huge rat which is pretty crazy there's a squirrel over there on that tree I don't know if y'all could see it but it's just there vibing you know what I'm saying Hey buddy, how's it going, man? So after I got done walking, I headed back to the car and then I made my way to the beach. I also felt like it was cool to have more of like a quiet place to be able to communicate with God and be able to reflect. Have a break, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be working a lot. Man, this is amazing weather. I forgot what it was like to be at the beach. So I ate dinner around 6 o'clock and it was actually right beside the beach, had some shrimp and some other things, you know what I'm saying? It was a really good meal. Beautiful weather. A lot of wind though. I'm just here chilling, you know what I'm saying? Watch the sunset go down, just clear my mind, you know what I'm saying? Not focusing on anything else, just, you know, just meditating, uh, just listening, enjoy nature. Whoa, hey buddy. Yeah. 
jellyfish right there. That's more jellyfish. Hey, hey. Oh, he vibing. He, he vibing, though. Hey, he's getting lit. He's getting turnt. This is my jam right here. I thought it's pretty cool that they have a Salt Life restaurant here. It's pretty packed, so I couldn't get into that, honestly. I would probably be playing here for a little bit, but my basketball's flat. About to head on to the beach for a final time today before I head back. I try to spend most of the day off of social media, and you know, the, the day after that as well, just on some cars on the beach, it's actually getting quite cold to walk around a little bit again, just so I can feel the beach and everything, you know what I'm saying? Soon again, feel the beach again, I'm gonna get back in the car and head back up to Charlotte. I'm gonna miss this day, it went by fast. And I don't know about y'all, but some of the beach hit different, man, and the sunset's just amazing. So I got back the next day on a Tuesday, and when right when I got back home, I had a tire go flat, and then another one had nails in too, so I had to get two tires replaced, and I had to go into work that day, so I had to put a spare tire on, and I had to go buy two new tires. But other than that, you know, it was a great trip. I'm thankful to be able to go. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this small little vlog, and if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you'll know each and every time I upload, and until next time, I'm out. Peace!